Hello everyone. So I just got back from the theaters. I saw um, Uma. Um, I'm in my car in the parking lot waiting to go home. <laughs> Um, so this is going to be my re my quick little review. I'll try to shorten it as best as I can. No promises. But Uma is a movie starring Sandra O. Oh, and the only reason okay the only reason I saw this movie is because um, you know I I love Sandra O. Oh. I love her as an actress and I that's the only reason I saw that. Besides the, I, besides that um. The, I haven't seen the trailers. I only saw a poster of it. It looks really, you know, it really, the poster really, I read the, you know, I stopped and I, I looked at the poster. I read, like, the title, the tagline, like, all of it. I took it all in and I was like, oh, this looks really interesting. I think I want to see this. So, I and, I, and I did. And, you know, obviously, I, of course, I did. And then, so, what is Uma all about? So, Uma is, well, first of all, the title. It's Korean. It means mother. I found it out. I'm not, so yeah, I'm not Korean. Um, I'm not Korean, but I, I, I did look it up. It is Korean for mother. Sandra Oh plays Amanda, a, a Korean-American woman named Amanda. Um, she lives alone with her daughter, um, Chrissy. And the two of them, the mother and daughter, they are living in this little house, you know, in this little house far away from civilization, like, surrounded by trees, um, you know, trees, uh, like a garden, like a forest, a, a, a garden. Uh, she's a beekeeper. Uh, she has a job as a beekeeper. Um, and she has, and she does not want, and she has no electricity. She doesn't want to get anywhere, if it she wants to stay far away from electricity as possible um you know if it runs on electricity you know because of an incident because of a scary incident that happened to her with her mother the grandma the grandmother is the real villain of the grandmother is the real villain of this of this movie uh, of what she did to her daughter in the past so yeah um, so yeah, the no electricity in their house. They only use candles and like a lamp, um, not a, a lamp or like a lantern, you know, something like that. And so yeah, so while I thought Sandra O oh delivered, you know, yet again she delivers an amazing, um, co you know, compelling, you know, performance. But I felt like the rest of the movie, you know, I wish they kind of, it's you know, it's a nitpick. I wish they would have, I do have one nitpick. I wish they would have explored more, like, mother and the daughter complexities, if that makes any sense. You know what I mean? Um, but, you know, the movie falls, The you know, even, you know, Sandra Oh does deliver an amazing performance, but I felt like the rest of the movie was pretty mediocre like a B level uh, the writing the, the jump scares it's all pretty mediocre we, we've seen it a bunch of times um, it's nothing new it's nothing original and but yeah and also there was a point near the end of the movie where there were they used CGI on an animal you know what I mean you know I think you might know what I'm what I'm what I'm referring to if you've seen the movie um, but they they use CGI on this one animal, and I thought the CGI was atrocious. It looked awful. Like, what am I looking at? This is like a. It looked like it looked like a video game cutscene. It looked like a It looked like uh, like a creature from like a video like a PlayStation like a PlayStation video game like a PS PS4 video game. It looked pretty awful. Um, but yeah. But what I found really interesting is that is um, what I found interesting was um, you know the fact that Sandra O oh, she's refute you know she's living her life as an American and she's trying to stay away she's trying to you know not accept she's trying to refuse you know her Korean heritage and you know that's more towards her ancestors and you know the grandmother 
So that's another thing I found very compelling. What, what I found very compelling and you know interesting. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I felt like the so overall, I felt like this movie was pretty mediocre, pretty average. But Sandra Oh does does deliver an amazing performance. I thought the CGI at near the end or near the end was looked pretty awful. Um, and my only nitpick is just one. I, I felt like I, I wanted I want them to like delve into the movie is like oh, the movie is like an hour and twenty five minutes. I wish they could have made it maybe like twenty more minutes, maybe like fifteen like twenty minutes explore more. Um, you know that dynamic and relationships between the mother and daughter, not just Amanda and Chrissy, but also the grandmother and Sandra O. Oh. And Sandra O's character, Amanda, you know, Sandra O's character, Amanda. So that's it. So that's all I have to say for Uma. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought about it in the comments section below. Thank you so much for taking your time to listen to my review. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see all of you lovely people really soon.